With over 1,260 miles of coastline, it shouldn't be any surprise that Florida has more boat owners than any other state. But with an average of over 600 accidents and more than 60 boat-related fatalities in Florida every year, it's a hobby that comes with serious risks. This 25-foot deck boat was just swamped by another ship's wake. Now it's taking on water at an alarming rate. And it's about to get a whole lot worse. It slams against a barge's angled bow. Now we're putting you on deck. You only have seconds to decide how to make it out. What would you do? A, move to the back of the boat and stay with it for as long as possible. B, bail out and swim for it. Or C, gun the engine to raise the flooded bow. Here's what you should consider. You're on a flooded boat, wedged against a construction barge, and in danger of sinking fast. The speed of the current pinning you to the barge is a swift 11 and a half miles per hour, only 10 miles per hour slower than the water tumbling over Niagara Falls. But it's not just the speed of the water that poses the danger. It's also the weight. Nearly a ton for each cubic yard pushing against your boat. Fortunately, federal law requires boats like yours to include added flotation, buoyant foam injected into the hull meant to keep it water level, even after being swamped. But is it enough to keep your head above water? Make your choice. A. B. Or C. So what would you do?